We arrived about an hour early at 8 a.m. before the demolition occurred. People filled in and gathered uh, until 9 a.m. Some people were occupying restricted areas like the nearby hillside or the roof of a couple of buildings. We assumed that they were officials with special privilege. Just before I started recording this video, a horn sounded, which turned out to be the 10 minute warning. And here we uh, had a little discussion about the way the wind was blowing. And uh, then I shut down the video until the second horn sounded. Well, the wind's going towards the towards the bay. That's good. Usually, the wind would be blowing towards us, wouldn't it? Yeah. West and northwest. Oh, is this the camera you have? Yeah. yeah. My camera's running right now. Oh, I thought I thought uh, you had a big film camera. No, this is it. If it doesn't happen for another seven minutes. You got enough uh, memory? Yeah, I, I got 18 minutes worth. I'm running it at high resolution. So I'm going to be. I think we'll hear another uh, blast of the horn before it starts. Yeah. This is just a couple of minutes before the building was brought down, and there were quite a few people behind us uh, watching this event from the hillside. An apparent two minute warning horn sounds at about the three minute and 53 second mark into this video. The horn lasts for a few seconds. <laughs> Okay, my. So what I'm going to do, Bob? I'm going to hold mine just like this. So I don't have to look through the viewfinder. I can actually watch it. Pretty good, huh? A second horn, the approximate one minute warning, sounds at about four minutes and 48 seconds. And then at 544, you see flashes on the left side of the building and about 10 seconds of explosions before the building actually starts to move at 5.53 and about three seconds after that it's all over.
Sure didn't. Yeah, they did a better job at the at Building Seven World Trade Center, didn't they? And I knew it would fall in that direction too. Going that way? Yeah. I guess it just fell into the street. Oh. I don't think that took more than three seconds to come down. Do you? I don't know, but the video will tell the whole story. Maybe they wanted it to come down, you know, directionally like that. Oh my God. After the smoke cleared, we stayed around and took a few still pictures. In this picture, some yellow safety vested engineering and construction types can be seen inspecting the remains of the building from the street level. Later, I was able to gain access to that street level myself. The blanket on the adjacent building and the blue storage containers seemed to be there as a shield. The undemolished facade on the left might have also helped protect the adjacent building. <laughs> 